We are in the hearts of everybody. We are the evil. We are the darkness. These are our stories. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Darkness Tales. We have a creepy one for you tonight. And it all has to do... Well... I'm actually not going to give it away. This creepypasta is titled .xom. There was something about her, the fact that she was just too nice to me, to everyone, but that wasn't how she was when she was alone. How do I know this? I watched her. You may think that's pretty creepy, but I don't care. I needed to know what the hell was wrong with her. Everyone could tell how fake she was, but no one dared to investigate. Of course not, she was scary as hell. So anyways, this all started a week and a half after she moved to our school from, uh, what was it she said? California. She moved to Maine from California. As I was saying, when she first moved here, everyone loved her. She's pretty, nice, and everything that makes up the typical popular girl. Another thing that struck me as unusual was that she came right in the middle of my senior year. I know if my parents ever made me do that, well, it wouldn't work out for them to put it one way. Anywho, after about a week, people started noticing things. She noticed that they noticed. She started to try extra hard to fit in, to kiss ass, to make friends and keep them. The problem was, people were starting to fear her. A chill would run down my spine if she even walked by me in the hallway. This is when I started to become interested. One day, I decided to follow her home. On our way, I lagged way behind, most of the time looking down at my phone, trying not to be obvious. She did look back once. That's when I began to worry. When I looked up from my phone, she had stopped. She just stood there, facing away. I knew what she was doing. She was waiting. She wanted to figure out for sure if I were following her. So I kneeled down and tied my shoe. My paranoia seemed to be for nothing when I took a closer look and saw she was on the phone. I felt so stupid. Alright, it had been about an hour by now. Where the hell was she going? This walk had to at least be a mile or two long. We weren't even close to any neighborhood or any houses for that matter. We finally arrived to a house. It was so far out that it was hard for me to believe she could find her way there and back. And maybe she was on the phone talking to someone with directions. I hid behind a tree as she let herself into this eerie house and just watched her. I was worried and paranoid beyond belief by this point. I always listened to my gut. It didn't sound good. I was definitely scared. When I was sure she was in, I made my way slowly over to the house and peeked up into the window. What I saw was something I would never forget. She was just sitting there in a small room with just one single dirty stained mattress in her bra and underwear, smashing her head against a wall for a good five to ten minutes. I wanted to run, but I couldn't look away. When she stopped, she started to sob quietly, then louder and louder, yelling things at herself like, STUPID 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 GIRL, or THEY KNOW, THEY ALL KNOW, GET RID OF HIM. I was confused, frightened, yet still so curious. I should have known to leave by now, but I just couldn't bring myself away from it. She then said, LEAVE. Leave, leave, leave now! Then she looked up. She stared me dead in the eyes. Her eyes, so black and hollow and evil. I snapped out of it and ran. It was hard to find my way out of the woods, but I just kept running. I didn't sleep for weeks. Every night I would see her cold, dark eyes in my window just as I looked in hers. I still don't know if she's really there. 
When I went back to school, there was no sign of her anywhere. I was relieved, but still very confused. I didn't tell anyone. I never will. All I can do is document it. I hope someone else will see it and think twice before you feel the need to investigate the weird kid. You know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. Remember that the next time you try to pick on the weird kid or that strange guy from the office. Thank you all for sticking around. Please, if you have a moment, make sure you're subscribed, click that thumbs up button, and leave a comment down below. Anything you can do is major help to me and I truly appreciate it, every single one of you.